Yo guys, what is going on? My name is Michael and welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video for you guys on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm very excited to be showing you guys all the tips you need to know on how to rank up very fast within Infinite Warfare and get through those prestige levels as fast as possible. So please stop like on today's video if you guys enjoy and also please be sure to be subscribed if you guys are brand new for some more awesome Call of Duty content and you guys will not be disappointed. So my first tip is to use weapons in a bunch of the different things within the game that you haven't used yet. So for example, if you've already used the Envy for it and you've unlocked all the attachments for it and all the camos for it and stuff like that, move on to another weapon and unlock the attachments for that weapon and keep on doing that over and over again with all the different weapons within the game. Because every single time you go on and unlock a new weapon attachment or a new weapon camo, it gives you a lot of XP more than you think. And the good thing about this is you can actually go on and prestige your weapons. So reset all the attachments and you can go on and unlock the attachments over and over again to try and get as much XP out of that as possible. Now of course the same thing goes for the combat rigs. Try to use different combat rigs and switch it up as much as you can. So let's say if you've unlocked everything for the warfighter combat rig, try to switch it up and use the synaptic combat rig instead. That way you'll be getting as much XP as possible which is always really awesome. Now next up I'm gonna want you guys to go on and use smaller score streaks. The reason I'm telling you to use smaller score streaks instead of the larger ones is because when you use small streaks like the UAV, the scarab, or the drone package, you'll be getting these multiple times within the game and every Every single time you unlock these within a match, it actually gives you an XP bonus as well. And all these XP bonuses add up. So if you keep on getting a bunch of UAV, scarabs, and drone packages over and over again, a lot of XP is just going to stack up and you're going to be leveling up a ton. Now next up, I'm going to want you guys to go in the barracks and try to complete as many challenges that you can. I've actually calculated everything. And with all the challenges in there, with all the camels, with all the attachments, you have over 1,000 challenges you can complete within Infinite Warfare. So once again, just make sure you're getting around to completing those challenges and you'll get a lot more XP than usual. Now my next tip is something that you guys are most likely already doing. The tip is to go within your mission teams and complete as many mission team challenges as possible because for each individual mission team, you'll have an unlimited amount of missions because once you complete it, then it just resupplies and resupplies. So try to complete those missions and every time one of your individual mission teams levels up, you'll get a pretty large XP bonus as well. Obviously, if you have one mission team that's level 30 and one that's still level 1, it's probably a lot more faster to go on and level up the level 1 mission team and instead of the level 30 mission team because lower levels gain XP much faster than the higher levels do. Next, you're going to want to go and play the objective in all the different game modes like Domination, Hardpoint, Search and Destroy, Capture the Flag, Uplink, game modes like that because you get a bunch of score while capturing the objective and by getting kills around the objective or while holding the objective. So no matter what within objective game modes, just make sure to stay around objective points and kill people around there and actually play the objective because that's a very good way of getting a lot of XP very fast. As a matter of fact, one of the best game modes to actually level up within is actually search and destroy. The reason that search and destroy is so good is because one kill gives you five times the XP than you would have normally got. So one kill would give you 500 XP instead of only 100, which actually stacks up really fast over time. And while playing within multiplayer matches within Infinite Warfare, you're going to want to go and complete as many medals as you can, obviously ranging from headshot medals to bloodthirsty medals to basically any medal you can get within the game. Just try to get those and you'll get a bunch of XP. You won't believe how much the XP XP actually stacks up when you go for the medals within the game as well. Now my last tip is just to make good use of double XP and double weapon XP. Obviously double XP and double weapon XP come around about twice a month and during those weekends you're gonna want to rank up as fast as possible so make sure to complete those challenges, complete all that stuff but especially during the double XP and double weapon XP weekends. So let's say if you're like one challenge off getting gold camo on your favorite weapon, just save that challenge until it's actually double XP and then complete it then you'll get double the amount of XP than you would have gotten before. And the same goes for for all of your other challenges. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure to slap a like on it. That'd be very much appreciated. And also, please be sure to be subscribed if you guys are brand new for some more awesome Call of Duty content and you guys will not be disappointed. So with that all being said, I'll see you guys later with another brand new video.